Coronavirus cases are on the rise in Chesterfield County, leading to some concerns about in-person learning. Our Matthew Fultz joins us live with a breakdown on the amount of cases being reported by school officials. Matthew? Well, yeah, Candace, according to the Virginia Department of Health, there's over 8,000 cases of COVID-19 in Chesterfield County alone and over 100 cases in the school system since August. Now we speak to parents who says they're concerned with students heading back to the classroom. I think that we're putting a lot of stress on a lot of people that we don't necessarily need to be doing. Taylor Reese is concerned as thousands of students in Chesterfield County head back into the classroom despite COVID-19 cases going up. So for the school to all of a sudden like switch gears and say that it's okay, I just couldn't wrap my head around that. All students in Chesterfield County Public Schools had the option to return to in-person learning. They returned in phases. The last group, middle and high school students, started in-person learning earlier this month. According to the school system's website, there have been over 100 positive cases of the coronavirus in Chesterfield Public Schools since teachers returned in August. County school officials say that there are only two cases of community spread that have been determined and that the other cases originated out of the school system. According to the school system's website, nearly 30 cases were reported in just the last week. Reese believes there could be more. Like, what's the impact of that on our community? Because that's not telling us the quarantine numbers. According to the Virginia Department of Health, Chesterfield is averaging 70 new COVID-19 cases each week. Tuesday, the school board sent a letter to parents stating that they are watching health data daily. And if the schools reach a seven-day moving average of 25 new cases per 100,000 residents, they will reverse back to virtual learning only, with the exception of level two special education students. And unfortunately, it's like... Meanwhile, Reese says both of his daughters are still in virtual learning because he believes the school board acted too quickly. They pushed too fast, and now we might have to reverse, which I do. Th I, I think that's an, uh, it's unfortunate for a lot of the kids who really need to be in a face-to-face -face instruction environment. Now, the school board also says that their goal remains the same, and that's to get all students back into the classroom five days a week while with COVID-19 guidelines, of course. And, the, and the, they also say that the superintendent has the ability to close schools as needed if an outbreak or widespread, uh, uh, yeah, excuse me, widespread out, out, outbreak where to happen. Working for you tonight, I'm Matthew Foltz, CBS 6 News.